Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, so uh, in the last lecture we have finished the non coplanar maneuver, but sometimes in the same thing, uh, same context you need to propagate the orbit. So, already we have looked at the uh, uh, this uh, Kepler's equation for the uh, elliptical and the hyperbolic orbit we have derived and that can be used to propagate the orbit, okay. but beside this the FG function method is also used for propagating it and sometimes it may be much more convenient to work with that. Okay. So, let us look into that. So, I have written here uh, the orbit propagation UG using the FG function. So, what does this mean? So, let us look into this uh, figure which uh, shows here as an ellipse. Okay. However, it may be anything this is the coordinate x y, this is r and this angle we write as theta. So, r cos theta this equal to x and r sin theta this equal to y. P and q cap these are unit vectors along the this is the basically in the plane of the orbit the coordinate axis. So, these are the unit vectors p and q cap mutually they are perpendicular unit vectors. Now, let us assume that the position of the satellite at any other time can be I have expressed as the coordinate at any other point. initial point may be somewhere let us say it is it was here x 0 y 0 okay, and this is the new point. So, this makes it convenient to write it. So, x times p cap plus y times q cap this is very simple okay, this is basic representation we have been using from um, the beginning and the corresponding velocity vector then this can be written as p cap y dot times q cap because these are the unit vectors they are fixed they are not changing. Okay. They, this is the inertial frame here basically constituting inertial frame. In the FG series method a FG function method FG series another method so, uh, which is pertaining to the numerical propagation. So, here we are not doing numerical, but analytical propagation. So, in the FG function method, we assume that r is a function of initial position of the satellite and initial velocity of the satellite. So, f is your f and g these two are appearing as function. Similarly, the velocity vector at any time can be written as f dot r 0 plus g dot v 0. Why r 0 and v 0 these are the initial initial velocity initial velocity and r 0 is initial position position vector. So, this uh, these are fixed. Okay, these are known and these are fixed we do not need to differentiate this. So, the velocity and the position can be expressed using these two equations. Now, writing r cross v 0 
and this gives us f equal to r cross v 0 divided by r 0 cross v 0. And r 0 cross v 0 this is because it is a central force motion. So, this is conserved. So, angular momentum per unit mass this is conserved and once we expand it r we write in terms of x plus y p q okay. and v 0 similarly we so how we will write r 0 r 0 we can write as x 0 p cap plus y 0 q cap similarly v 0 we can write as x 0 dot p cap plus y 0 dot q cap. the left hand and right hand side they are vectors. So, directly we cannot divide it we, we need to take the magnitude, but f is a function okay, it is a function of time. So, in what format it will emerge this is what we are looking for. So, we are looking for find f g and f dot g dot. So, if this is known so you can see that using this two immediately r and v can be calculated. So, this is our aim to find out f g and f dot g dot. So, if we put r 0 v 0 in terms of this and expand it. So, this will get reduced to or either you take the magnitude on the both sides. So, if we write it like this So, this can be reduced to f can be written as some of the steps I am taking shortcut you can check it h equal to h 0 there is no difference because the angular momentum remains conserved. So, we write this as a similarly taking cross product with r 0 with r So, magnitude wise g can be written as r 0 cross r magnitude divided by r 0 v 0 cross and this quantity is nothing but h. So, we write here in the denominator h and r 0 cross r this yields us x 0 y minus x y 0. See both of them are of the same dimension. So, no differential sign is appearing here. Thus, our g is x 0 y minus x y 0 divided by h this is equation b. Next we write h equal to r cross v g times v 0 cross f dot times r 0 plus g dot times v 0. In this immediately we can see that these two terms will drop out okay. and we are left with f g dot r 0 cross v 
and here f dot g times r 0 cross v with minus sign I have introduced. So, this is h. R 0 cross V 0. So, this implies both sides it is a H and therefore, F G dot minus F dot G this gets reduced to 1. This is equation C. So, we have got f equation we have got, we have got g equation and here we have relation combining both of them. Now, from here uh, from this place f dot can be written as x dot y 0 dot minus x 0 dot y dot. See the this is the initial velocity and part of initial velocity therefore, we are not differentiating this these are fixed quantities initial condition. And from here, so this we write as a 1 and from this place similarly, we can write g dot equal to x 0 y dot minus x dot y 0 divided by h this we write as b 1. So, we have A, A 1, B and B 1 and besides we have C which is available here. Okay. So, from this what we can look at that uh, if we have if we know any three of there are the four quantities involved here. So, if we know any 3, we can get the fourth one. Okay. So, we can get the fourth one. So, once we have done this, now we need to find out the quantities because all these things are written in terms of y dot, x dot etcetera. So, we need to find out these quantities. The initial position velocities they are given. Okay. So, you know x, x 0 dot, y 0 dot and uh, this is planar case and similarly, um, x 0 and y 0 these quantities are known to us. So, we do not have to worry about this. But we have to calculate x and y at any other time, x, x dot and the y dot, which is appearing here, x dot and y dot. So, we need to work out these quantities. So, x equal to r cos theta, and therefore, x dot can be obtained from this place, and similarly, y also we have y equal to r sin theta. So, if we differentiate, this will be r sin theta times theta dot plus r dot cos theta okay. and r dot we are aware of this quantity from our previous lecture r dot equal to mu e sin theta divided by h. So, we can utilize this okay. and theta dot also we are aware of theta dot equal to h by r a square in the central force motion or the this gravitational force what we have inverse square field we are uh, for the central force itself okay irrespective of whether inverse square or whatever this is always valid okay so uh, we can insert these values here so this is minus r sin theta h by r square and plus r dot is mu e sin theta divided by h times cos theta.
minus h sin theta divided by r and this can be simplified as h e sin theta cos theta divided by L. So, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by h, so this part will become h square okay, and h square equal to mu L. So, mu mu from the numerator denominator will cancel out and L will remain in the denominator in the numerator you get h. So, this you can check yourself. So, this we can write as minus plus h by L sin theta minus L by R. Okay. H sin theta will go from this place and L also we are taking. So, L comes out and appears here in the numerator and from this place we have h by l goes and sin theta goes. So, this is E cos theta minus 1 l by r is minus 1 plus E cos theta plus and minus e cos theta is cos theta will cancel out and you get x dot equal to this quantity. And this is nothing but minus mu by h sin theta. Similarly, you can derive for y and this will turn out to mu by h e plus cos theta. And therefore, x dot 0 because x dot g this equation can be satisfied at any place. So, x dot 0 we can write as mu by h sin theta 0 and y dot 0 equal to mu by h e plus cos theta 0. So, once we have got these quantities therefore, if can be written as insert all the values y equal to y r sin theta x dot 0 we have to insert here sin theta 0 so h we take outside r we take outside so this becomes mu by r h square and we get here e cos theta plus cos theta times cos theta 0 plus sin theta times sin theta 0. cos delta theta where delta theta equal to theta minus theta 0. So, this is the initial true anomaly and this is the final true anomaly. So, how much your change in anomaly has taken place it can be written like this. Okay. Thereafter, we can also use this equation L by 1 plus E cos theta equal to H square divided by mu H square by mu r minus 1.
So, E cos theta on the previous page this quantity we replace So, this part will cancel out h square mu r h square mu r if we break the bracket. So, this becomes 1 minus you can write this as mu r by h square 1 minus cos delta theta. So, now f is expressed in a proper way. So, name this as this we have written till c and this we write as f equal to this quantity this has the equation oh, well, here in this place this is the equation d. R also can be written as h square divided by mu which is nothing but l. So, l by 1 plus e cos theta. So, e cos cos theta this equal to cos theta 0 plus delta theta. sin delta theta you can write it this way ok which is our usual equation l by 1 plus e cos theta. cos theta 0 is the quantity h square by mu r 0 minus 1 and e sin theta 0 is the quantity h r 0 dot divided by mu. This we have worked out earlier you can check from the earlier lecture. Okay, once we have written this, so substituting all these things here in this equation, so we know e cos theta here in this place and e cos theta 0 sin theta 0 is also available from this place. Okay. So, this quantity will be known okay. h square h is already known because the initial position velocity it is a given position vector and velocity vector. So, the r can be computed from this place. Okay. So, finally, to conclude the r can be written as h square divided by mu times 1 plus h square by mu r 0 minus 1 cos delta theta. And then you can go and check that your f is available from this place from d equation d and rest others can be written as g equal to r r 0 divided by h sin delta theta and I have taken some shortcut you can verify all these quantities. So, using all this information you can you will be able to propagate the orbit find out the position at different po uh, position somewhere else. Now, uh, what we do the problem related problem I will not solve here, but rather I will give you the solution at the time once this week starts. 
ok. So, that you are able to uh, solve it the other problems. Ok, so we stop here uh, and we conclude this lecture here. Thank you very much.